MS Steel, I just saw your post on Facebook or uh, your video on, uh, about you thinking about, I think it was a post, about you doing a radio flyer uh, themed tractor. Yeah, but this is my modified radio uh, flyer wagon. I made the sides for it. I just put two sides on it. I didn't do front and back. But you can see, yeah. It's just simple. It has some treated wood. It's held up real well. I did, and uh, I bought this thing originally back in the uh, 90s. But it, the little old cheap uh, lawnmower type tires it comes with were skinnier than lawnmower tires. Weren't, weren't worth the crap. So those are some Harbor Freight. Tires. I believe at the time I got them on sale for four, five, six bucks a piece, something like that. And then I bought two pieces of axle stock at uh, at Lowe's. And uh, at the time I didn't have a welder, so I got my neighbor to tack it. Had to drill out where the axle goes a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's just you know. I also put one on the front, of course. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I just thought you might be interested. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to show y'all what I'm getting ready to do with, uh, the trailer. I'm getting this, the last of my tree out of here today. So, yeah, mind the winch noise, but here we go. Yeah, maybe I won't use the clicking on it, but... I knew that would happen, but it don't matter. It's gonna go up on there. Let me lock her in place. Now look, as y'all can see, it's gonna pull the trailer up. Let me back up. I unhitched it, because I didn't want it to pick up the tractor and everything. But as soon as we get to the balancing point, More to come, y'all. I, I, I can't. I gotta use both hands, and uh, I got the cell phone going. Maybe I can prop you up. Maybe. I get this balance just right. I don't think it's gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Well, maybe like that. Y'all just bear with me, I'm almost there. If it stays, it stays. If it don't, it don't. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try pulling down on the tongue. Where I won't have so much stress on that cable. But old winch does the trick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, time to go hitch it up to the car. Hey, just a little short video. We'll catch y'all later. Oh, by the way, when I took this thing in the water the other day, uh, I probably got water in my transmission. So. I got another foot or splicer, vice versa, whichever it is, and uh, I'm gonna have to swap them and uh, might lock the other one first and then swap it in here. Yeah, but I definitely gotta pull this one out and 
get the water out of it. So that's something I'll be working on the next couple of days. I'll be locking my first transaxle. Either this one or the other one. I'll pull this one out and see what it looks like first. Anyway, because I know it's all fitting up right. I can do some measurements to make sure everything's in the same position. But uh, anyway, more to come, y'all. Or now, nah, I'm going to finish this video off. Yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm an old man, out of shape. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, let me put up the fuel cart. That's my fuel cart. <laughs> Two cycle and regular old four stroke. Now I think the next one. Two cycle gas I'm gonna get on to get the non ethanol. I should do it on my other stuff too and I might. But anyway. That's it. Catch y'all later. Have a good Halloween and weekend. Bye.